today, well, I'm here to give you an update on the props, the Alocasia, the Adonzonii. I have a quite a mess going on in front of me right now that you cannot see gladly. And you've been asking in the comment section, hey, we would appreci appreciate a update. So here's the update. First, the alocasia. So the first thing that we need to remember is that I had it first in a jar, so in a gerarium, and, and then I got this over here that I made of a terrarium, but both cases, it was staying too wet and I decided that I was gonna do it another way, okay? So what I did, I turned that terrarium into a propagation station because I already had the LED lights, the LED strip lights um, installed. So it was just like, get the soil out, clean it, good to go. That's kind of when they woke up as well. They took quite a while to wake up. Those little bulbs or corms, the right name for alocasia, like little... Those little ground things, they're called bul uh, corms and are bulbs. They had like that little, little black kind of peel thing that naturally came off. So I don't know if it has anything to do with it waking up. It woke up, so we will have... I've had uh, also a couple of allocations from online baby plants haul that I planted. I ended up losing a few corms because like I said, it was staying too wet. So most of them kind of like, kind of rotted or just straight up potted, rotted. I do not know which one is which because I literally had to dig it out from the terrarium and I had no idea which one is it, uh, which one was what. So I got it now, I got it now in that tiny, all my props are staying this tiny, um, like we have, uh, we drink a lot of, oh my gosh, we eat a lot of protein, like yogurts or whatever they're called. And I upcycle most of those little things for the props. It's kind of useful, shut up. And I have it on Spagmas. I do sprinkle a little bit of um, cinnamon on it because of fungus gnats. I had a couple of them, but now they're pretty much gone at this point. I'm leaving them open because another thing that I noticed and I lost actually my Lauter Bacchiana completely because of this is that they do not like it too moist. So closing them was a mistake because when you close it, kind of like I have these gerariums right now, when you close it, and I have a hygrometer in here right now because I wanted to know what's the humidity. And so I have a tiny, 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 I don't want to move it too much because I don't want to hurt the plant, but I have a tiny anthurium here that I'll talk about it on the whole, but when you close it with this film, the hum it, it sort of like condenses up because I also had, it's pretty warm in there. I actually don't know the temperature, but I'll test it with a hygrometer. So, for, like uh, right now in this uh, uh, gerarium, the humidity is at 90%. So it's pretty high, even though I have a couple of like um, holes on the top so that it doesn't condense so much. And with this high humidity, the like anteriums like it, but Alocasias don't really care about humidity. They are they care more about the water and the and the light, obviously. So like any other plant, but they do, they do not care much about humidity. So I took the top off, and I also have a stingray, which kind of looks like a bullhorn. The top uh, rotted, and I had to cut it and then let it dry so that it could still leave. So whenever I wet it, uh, it's when the spag is actually dry and then I put it on top of the of here because it's warmer so that it can eva um, cut, like evaporate a bit faster because I don't want it to be too wet. Okay, so I've got three of those corms that I got um, that you saw before plus one of the jewel, uh, jewel 
allocations that I got from a lot of baby plants because they hated traveling, they do not travel well, like um, silver dragon or black velvet, they do not travel well. I got only the corn out of it because the leaves died back and I got the corn and I planted it and now they started to grow. And then I got the stingray, which also kind of died back and it, it, it stayed too wet, it didn't like it, it died back and now I have this weird looking thing which I am kind of excited about because it's showing a lot of crap and then we have the Adelsomia which you also saw on a video and I cut it up completely, like entirely cut it up and I got two pieces of it here and I got a piece with the baby from Align Baby Plants. I got a bunch of them over here. And I will also show you the growth on the other one of the pieces that I have that have uh, like really leaved. And I'll put together as well with you one like I I have them normally on spag moss, but I also have them on a mix of perlite, spag, and like light little tiny balls of leca. And I've kind of found out that they tend to get a lot of mold, the spag, in my situation right now. So, and I also got like this really crazy freaking bean that is growing like insane. And I planted that bean at the same time as this one, and you cannot like you cannot believe the growth on this thing that bean is crazy okay so another little pot is a little bit bigger than usual and then i got my mix of spag leca and perlite straightforward and uh i know you might ask yourself what's the ratio do and i'm like no idea I just put it together and hope for the best. I don't like it that it's more, it's less spag than the rest because of this situation. So look at the growth on this baby. And yes, it takes a lot of time to grow a freaking anything from a stick. But here's the, let's not kill it. Let's hold it properly. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Look at the growth. It's so cute, this tiny baby. So I'm gonna place it eventually. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this and I know you can see it, but I'll show you soon. You can kind of see it, it's up almost like a little bit over half. Because in my experience, it does stay a little bit too wet. So I just place it on top, if I can. Because this glows. So on top like that. And that's it. Now, if a stick already has some roots, then I will start putting it like literally sticking so that the growth actually goes up words instead of just like this one the growth is kind of going sideways like perpendicular the first one that I showed and I kind of don't want that so I'll actually proceed to stick it down so that the little leaf can start growing upwards and not perpendicular perpendicular to the stick. I don't want that. And then I've got another one with grouse. So I'm also gonna stick it. I kind of lose like my dextry with these kind of gloves and I feel so stupid. So the way you're gonna stick it is just the way that the grouse is coming from. So if the grouse is Kind of like the node, there's a line, and then there is, with Adonsoniae, there's a line. And most phyllos actually are like most Terraceae plants 
There's gonna be a line where the node is, and then there's gonna be a little triangle. That triangle should point up. Because that's where you know the baby's gonna come from. That's the auxil auxiliary bud, I think. Don't call me on that. I think that's it. That's it for the update. I also cut up my meat hands all up. And I put on, there is Lekka, oh my gosh, it's so hard to see it. There is Lekka, and there is Pag. Straight up Pag, I am being extra careful with this one to not over water. I don't actually know what I put it in there. It was probably a bad idea in hindsight. And I still have this one. This one is on peat moss. So let's check it, nothing, because this was my most recent I'm fed up with you, I don't so near, I cut a moment and I cut it up again. I don't need to check the water, but I need to take the... So let me show you this, because this is what happens when you cut a an adult sonii and it has like those thick internodes, those not not thick internodes, but those like corked or nearly corked internodes. This this one is a little bit corked. I have another one over there. Let me just clean it up a little. You see this, this grout over here? This is a caterpillar, which has gone a little bit, <clears throat> but this is where a new leaf grows in the whole plant, when you have a whole plant. I actually have a monstera that is doing that as well. And I'll show you that on top of this video, but you have the internodes. So this, this all of these a possibility of growth. So you, you can, you can clearly see the lines over here. Those are all possibilities of growth. So if these arrow roots, they root, I can still cut it up again. Although the more you cut it up, the harder it gets. Oh, and you, uh, I'll have to make micro shots of the, the bud that I was talking about, but that's basically a little bit of the physiology of these guys, all right? I'll give another update on the Avocasias and all of these props once they are more developed. But I kind of check them every day. I pull them out just to see what's going on, if there is any rotted pieces. I try not to touch them that much. For example, yesterday I didn't look at them at all. I, like, no water, no anything. Some of these had dried out by today. So I spray them a little bit. Now, I do not spray them directly. I just spray them like on the sides of the container. And I do have to spray that one guy that I just made. So I'll show you. So I have a little spray with um, willow tea. Put a little bit of willow tea on the water. So I just kind of like spritz sideways. And I have that like more direct spritz, like spray. See, it's not like that shh, that goes everywhere. It's just, I just spray the sides. I don't spray them directly. But also I'm not gonna do that much. I already have to put more. That was a miss. And that's it. Very simple. And then back to the terrarium. If you enjoyed this and if you are thinking or you have experimented with a corn, let me know in the comments what you think and what your experience has been. Uh, I will give another update soon on what they are looking like and what's happening with all of these little babies. I also have like a Monstera Stambliana over here, which is a lonely little baby because I cut, cut it up from this sad looking thing. It's, it's looking sad because it doesn't have roots yet, so. But this one is sitting on um, spag and a little bit of perlite. So, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm getting myself. See you in the next one. Like, comment, and sub. 
stay with me. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to watch. Bye.